Hey everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio, formerly known as Scrapping Life Away, and welcome to Explorations of Me for January 2019. Can you believe it? We are here. It is 2019 already. Hard to believe. But anyway, let's get going with our project today. Um, the the um, prompt that Cindy has given us for January is to use five positive things about ourselves um, and to incorporate that into a um, into whatever we want. So um, and. We really did not want to dwell on the negative at all um, and to really concentrate on the positive. So what I did, um, because I find that I can probably very be very self-critical of myself sometimes, um, what I did is I went to my family members and said, you know, hey, I need a hand. Um, help me come up with five things that you think, that they think, are positive things that they see in me. Um, so I have those five things and I am going to go ahead and start my process and uh, I'm going to fast forward through the process so that that way you're not sitting here for you know two hours watching a video. I mean although I do enjoy sometimes spending you know a couple hours watching a video it really doesn't bother me but um, for this situation I'll uh, <laughs> I'll spare you and um, we'll just get we'll get this show on the road and I'll put some music to it and I will talk to you on the other side.
painted here. I hope you can hear me. This new headset is driving me crazy. I love it, but it doesn't always work the way I want it to. <laughs> okay, I've got my butterflies on and I've glittered around them and I kind of messed up on, on her eye a little bit with the glitter. I really hated to put blue glitter around her eyes. It reminds me of someone I can't stand, but <laughs> that's okay. It'll be fine. Um, but anyway, these are all done. So I'm going to go ahead and write on here the five qualities, the five positive things about me um, that my family sees. I'll try to make sure this, oh, this isn't writing anymore. Maybe I don't want this one. Okay, let me find a different pen. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a pen that works. <laughs> I'm going to use this purple neon pen. And let's see. I wonder if I should put something down so that I don't. I think I will. Uh, let me find some scrap paper. Goodness gracious, hold on again. I'm losing my... All right, let's try this again. I'm going to put my hand, <laughs> some scrap paper over her face so I don't stick my hand in here. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down so once again I don't stick my hand and smear anything because that's just the way my day has been going. Okay, and I'm going to write it right across the top of each butterfly. I'll start at this side and go to that side. So the first thing that my family thought about me that was positive was that I was creative. C R. Let's see if I can spell. <laughs> e A T I V E. Creative. And I do enjoy being creative. So creative. Um, I'm also very driven. When I get in my head that I want to do something, there's not a whole lot stopping me. So I can be a very driven person. Very driven. All right, the other thing that my family said, I'm going to have to go across up here. I need more room. Um, and this came from my son, which really made me feel kind of good. He said that I was selfless. And I think when you're a mom, you have to be selfless. I'll, I should say it's a good quality to have as a mom. I think that your kids' needs and your family's wants and needs should always come before yours for the most part. And then comes a point in time where you need to let them go and fly. But I always give of myself first to them. I'm going to write up here the next one, um, and this is very true, and this isn't um, just my, um, my husband and my children, but I feel this way about my entire family, and as I am very protective, and I've had to be. Sometimes there's just some people out there that are just not nice. Protect I V E. Very protective. 
And I'll tell you what, when someone in my family gets their feelings hurt, I'm a, I don't handle that very well. Let's just say I can always forgive, but I will never forget. And, uh, better be, uh, and that's not a threat, that's a promise. <laughs> I am very protective. And the one thing that they, um, my family said that they loved about me that was one of the most positive things was that I was very social. And I am very social. I make friends pretty easily. Social butterfly. <laughs> I'm very social. I've always felt that it's important to have friends. Um, and the more friends, the merrier. So there we go. There's my five different um, things about me that my children and my husband I wonder if I can get this blue thing just to maybe give me some antennas. Nope, it's dead. All right. So there you have it. Um, I need to not drop my pen. I need to date this down here. And this is January. Oh my gosh. 2019. And then my initials. So this is my project for explorations of me. These are the five positive um, attributes, or however you want to call it, um, about me. My fam that, according to my family, they thought that I was creative, driven, selfless, protective, and social. And I made my girl using two of Gina Aaron's um, stencils. So I will um, link those below. And that'll be it for me for the month of January. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it did something to help you, um, to inspire, your, inspire you to be creative in some way, shape, or form. Um, I really enjoy doing this. Um, one of my new things I've been trying to learn how to do is do faces and things like that. I use a stencil to kind of help me start it out and then I try and finish it. Um, I do the best I can. It's coming along. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, this is it. Have a great rest of your week. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.